This is Cato Haas. It's uh, November 23rd, 2020. I'm going to try again making a, getting a coal with a bow drill with Arizona Sycamore. I've had uh, both success and failure on this uh, little sycamore set, this little sycamore board. The uh, spindle used to be 10 inches long, but my son said that uh, if you cut it down to about five and a half inches, you can get less wobble. And uh, probably be easier to control the pre pressure also. So I'm going to give it a try. This is the same hole I failed in last week. Another thing I'm going to do is use a lot of speed and not too much pressure because one problem I was having was it was making kind of brownish sawdust, not, uh, not dark enough. And that's bad. So more speed will cure that, I hope. Uh, this is a real good bow. It's got a a nice um, bowl, um, clove hitch up here at the top, which is very adjustable, and then just a slip knot down at the bottom. I want it just right. That's good and tight. Another thing, I've stepped down the spindle a little bit. That helps so that the uh, bow won't slip. It does cut down on your speed a little. So you'll see me moving the bow pretty fast. This um, is a green limb that I've made a handpiece out of. Green limbs will not smoke on you. So that's a good deal. Now I'm going to lubricate this uh, tip of this right here. Tip of my spindle a little bit. Because otherwise, even though that uh, wood is green in the half piece, you will get too much squeaking and that indicates some friction. So here goes. Zoom in on that. Let's watch it. That's going out. I would say... Ah, I noticed that slipping this to the side gave it a little more oxygen and it's coming back to life. Yes! Slipping it to the side. Did you notice that? Slipping it to the side brought that thing alive. That may be a key. Well, that one's going and it isn't going to die. That's a good cold and it's generating. So maybe I've learned something here. 
Well, let me just say this about sycamore. You can get a short spindle like this real easily up on the creeks and the intermittent creeks all over all over the west I suppose, all over Arizona certainly. You can tell I'm breathing hard. It's a little bit of work. It's not as easy as cottonwood by any means, but it's more ubiquitous. Alright, let's look at that coal one more time. You got a real good coal there. I will tell you though, it was in danger of going out until I slid this to the side a little bit. And that just seemed like that was just the perfect amount and it worked fine. I want to say this about this hand piece. You make a hand piece like this out of a green limb. I got this out of an orchard. I didn't get it up in the mountains. Because, you know, you're not supposed to cut green stuff. But anyway, you just make a few cone-shaped holes in a circle and then you dig it out so it's kind of flat and your, your spindle top touches down only in the center and it pushes it out the rest of the way nice and flat. So how's that coal doing? Oh yeah. Okay, so... There you go with Arizona Sycamore. Good luck if you try it. If you do try it, I hope you're feeling strong because it is some work. Hey, have a good day.